All right, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, give me one second whilst I set everything else up. Where are we? And is it this one? No, that's Dynamax. Max. There we go. Hello everyone. Welcome back. I feel like I don't know, it's not been ages. We literally did this last time. Um, some doing some Scarlet and Violet hunts, but I'm energized for today. I don't actually feel tired. I know I'm gonna still yawn. I always do on these streams, but I do. I do feel. I feel good today. I feel like we're gonna get some shinies, and I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some new things. So you can see we have got this Tatsugiri event on at the moment, which I did actually do uh, yesterday. So I hopped on, played a little bit uh, on my own yesterday. And managed to get both Tatsugiris. Uh, if you have a little look here. <clears throat> here they are. Shiny Tatsugiri this form and shiny Tatsugiri this form. Uh, within 30 or so, I think it was roughly, uh, encounters. So I didn't even need a sandwich. I was literally just clearing the outbreaks. And uh, and yeah, we, we, we got through them, which was really, really nice. Uh, so I didn't have to waste any Herb Mystica for that. Uh, what I have been doing, actually, is trying to reset for Totodile. Uh, because it's one of the few starters I don't have. Uh, it's still left for me to get. And I thought I could try and do it. And I actually spent about 40 minutes trying to. Um, and turns out it's really impossible. I saw someone on YouTube. It took them six hours to get a total dial outbreak. So <laughs> we'll have to try again for next stream. <clears throat> hey, Cody. How's it going? Made any more progress with Dynamax Adventures? Uh, I need to decide what I'm actually going to hunt today, actually. Because I don't have any outbreaks. Maybe I'll reset for a few outbreaks. See if we can get anything decent. Because... Yeah, we haven't got anything good. Still trying for heat tran. Did you say you were keeping um, track at all? Because I said for me it was 197. It was a very, very long one, which was not fun. Um, I was so happy when I got it. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was genuinely a real shock. But um, yeah, I was just. I think I was just relieved really because it said it took so long for me to get. Um, I'm just glad I finally got it done. Yeah, we'll try this for maybe like 10 minutes. Just see if we can get anything interesting. If we get anything interesting, I suppose I'll, I'll have a go. But I, mean, I wouldn't mind doing Lantern. We could do Lantern, maybe. And at least it's a guaranteed evolved form. Yeah, 100% I recommend it. Because as soon as I started doing it, it just made it more fun. Uh, you know what? Why don't we go for the Lantern? Oh, we've got Charcadet as well. I suppose we could try for Charcadet again. We did try a little bit last week. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it was Rayquaza, Zekrom, Lugia, Necrozma. Those were the four I didn't keep track of. Uh, everyone else I've caught, keep, kept track of since. Um, and yeah, I thought they, uh, it just, it just makes it like, I don't know, it's more fun to talk about and like compare and kind of see how unlucky or lucky you were. Um, you know, things like that. So I'll tell you one thing I did though. So, when I did all my pack opening last week, <laughs> as you know, didn't go very well. Um, I did buy a new binder as well, like a proper binder, of all X1. Um, and I have a lot of cards that either I pack or I bought, buy that don't go towards my trying to collect every Pokemon thing or just or, or the trainers. Uh, and I managed to pretty much fit them all in this, this binder. So the binder's all my trainer binder at the moment, but the very back pa two pages... I had to put an Okie Doki EX in here, but it's a load of the cool cards I've pulled or bought um, that I uh, that don't fit exactly where I want to, which I thought was quite cool. It's the only gold card I've ever pulled down there. The art is on, nothing particularly great. Ferris Sony Girl is the only other rainbow rare. Kingdra's just gone in there for the minute, same with Charizard, because I want to put them uh, in the other binder when I get a bit safer. Ranger I've bought. Here's my oldest Charizard. Um, PSA 10 is like 1200 but mine's nowhere near that. And just a few other car cool cards I've pulled and bought, and of course the uh, Iron Leaves special illustration rare there. But uh, yeah, I thought that was quite cool. And it's just nice having a proper binder, really. So, alright, we're going to keep getting these disposed messages, I think. Or dispersed, because I did it for quite a while. <laughs> um, okay, did we put a marker? We did. So we're going to go check out Lantern. A pretty decent shiny, I think. I said it would just mean that if we do ever get something in the future, at least the uh, Chin Chow is more likely. It's a lot more common. B 
but yeah, we'll hopefully, we'll hopefully get some decent stuff today. I just realised I've gone back to Dynamax Adventures. I keep doing the wrong one. So let's go check this out first. Oh, God's sake. Oh, the turtle eggs. Which I could take in a luxury ball, but I caught them in their region and uh, in Hisui, and that works for me. Um, okay. Are they in a huntable place is the real question. It looks like they are. And if we do electric as well, then maybe we get something. We can maybe get a chin chow as well. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. Maybe it's a sign here. Yeah. Do I still have this sandwich running? I do. Okay, let's save this then. All right. Um, let's start clearing these out. Oh, oh, I need to add the um thingy on, don't I? Where is Lantern? Is La Lantern Lantern Gen three? It's always Gen 2 and Gen 3 are my biggest issues. It might be Gen 2. Yeah, it's Gen 2. It's, it's Gen 2 and Gen 3 I get confused all the time. Like, like all the time. There's so many I just get incorrect. There are some that I know out and out are in certain Gens. Like, I always remember Skarmory's in Gen 2 because loads of people thought it was in Gen 3 because it didn't appear till very, very late game in Gen 2. But some of them I just... Oh, I lose it, honestly. Uh, who can go on the water? You can. Oh, it's slow though, I'll tell you that. That's the downside of doing a lot of these, is that this is so slow. Like, I love this game, and I think it is one of the best editions you had in the franchise, and it would be regarded as one of the best um, Pokemon games ever if it didn't have, you know, the glitches. Because outside of that, it's a fantastic game. It's just, unfortunately, uh, it's just a bit glitchy and a bit, you know, a few issues. And a lot of people swear, you know, that they hate it because of that, which is a shame, because it's awesome. Um, but... I think it's, you know, I think it's still great. I've just got to look past this lag, unfortunately. It is, it is annoying, but it is what it is. Can't change it now. So the main thing we're looking for is almost like a tennis ball light, I think. That's going to be the biggest difference here. I mean, what, what was are you for shiny hunting outside of Dynamax Adventures? Do you do, do you do a lot, Cody? Is it is it a big hobby outside of Dynamax, or are you just specifically going for legendaries, like I or are you just going for the whole, you know, everything eventually sort of thing, like I am? It's weird to think that that's a goal that I'll hopefully eventually achieve, right? Because it's just one of my long term goals. I've put my entire, you know, my last like few years towards, and it's something I've always wanted to do. So it'd be weird to think, you know, if I ever do actually complete it and finish it, because. I'm not sure entirely what I'll do. <laughs> Obviously, I can keep adding to it, but specifically going for legendaries. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I, I've tried to only do Dynamax Adventures on stream nowadays because as much as I would do some off stream, it can get a bit boring on my own. Yes, they can be quicker if I find a good path. But it's finding a good path. It's organizing everything. And I'd rather just do them on stream, especially considering there's so many other Pokemon I need to catch still. Um, if, if, I suppose, if there were opportunities to hunt everything like it is in this game where it's relatively easy in comparison to um other games then i'd potentially consider doing them a bit more often but considering there's so many pokemon that are still like barely huntable like on the switch with ease they've all like long hunts that would take a while anyway um i can't be bothered to you know to focus on legendaries when there's so many other pokemon i've still got to focus on so i'll do it once i get to I think a bit closer, um, you know, to, to actually like finishing the shiny decks. But for now, for now, we just do whatever's available, really. Uh, I think I'm on 32. That I've definitely have KO'd someone not noticed. The problem is, those messages is making it pretty difficult not appearing. I mean, I could just count them when they start appearing. I need to actually hit these guys first. We'll say that's at 35, but. I mean, Cresselia was obviously my last uh, shiny legendary, which was, I think, only the second Dynax entry of the stream. It was kind of a shock. It came out of nowhere. We just thought, oh, yeah, let's just do a Cresselia. And, yeah, it just it was it was kind of random, but uh, I'm happy we got it, of course. And, you know, a Pokemon I do really like. I mean, I'm still most gassed about Dialga in, in more recent times because I just realised how much I like its shiny, and to actually have a shiny Dialga, like... Like no, it's Dialga. Like it's just it's it's a, it's a big one. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. 
Oh, I'll tell you what I have done as well. Um, so obviously, I, the last stream, Piper was massively going on about um, Pokemon Horizons. Um, so I sat down and I binged watched all of it. <laughs> At least all of it that's available. A lot of it is, um, is, is, is stuck in Japanese. So, okay, let's count these. So we've got one, two, three. Oh, it's going to take its time. Four, five... I'm just going to count all of these just to be safe. That's six. It's good though, Horizons. I really enjoyed it. Seven, eight. I'd just rather watch it in English. And then I don't have to binge like another 20 episodes. Okay, that's 11. So yeah, I recommend it for sure. 12. 13, 14. My god, is it slow. It just help me make sure I'm where I'm at. I think I'm at like 39.40, but... Alright, that's 16. 17. This will take us to 19. Check there's no shinies around for the minute. 20. Alright, we're good. 22. Yeah, actually, like, watching it, um, like, just, you know, the trainers in, in, in the show... It made me want to um, like shiny hunt, so I did. I did uh, Tatsugiri both other forms yesterday, just because I thought I'd want them in the future. Um, and so I got them both within 30 encounters. I didn't even have to do a shiny. I didn't even get to the full odds in the um, in the in the outbreak, and I managed to to do it without a sandwich, which was nice. All right, I think that's 33. I mean, we're going to be roughly close here anyway. All right, that's 36. 37. 38, 39. 40. There's going to be a few more that I didn't see. 41, 42. It's going to be ones that have attacked whilst I'm not looking. 43. 44. 45. Damn, so quite a bit more. 46, 47. What? It can't be this high. 48? We would have had the message by now. Fifth. I've not done 50 die out. Lantern. Well, there's, there's the next message. So we say 51. There we go, that's it. 51, really? Bloody hell. Okay, well, we can get rid of a few here. I said we'll go a little bit over. We'll go about five over. 5. 56 did help them all coming over here. 57. Right, over here, please. 58. Fifty-nine. Okay, let's say that's sixty. God, this is slow. Um, sixty-one. Sixty-two. 63. At least these guys are electric as well, so I can get rid of all the other roaming Pokemon. Alright, let's get one one more for good measure. Yeah, see, this is the better thing you could do. Okay, that's fine. We've got plenty. Uh, we, do, we need to go somewhere to be able to do the picnic, though. So Yeah, so any Lantern or Chinchou here, I will take. I do not have either. Oh, no. Go away, Skarmory. Okay, let's save here then. Let's get going with our picnic. Do -do -do. I realise another thing as well. I actually have two, uh, four uh, special illustration rares now, the secret ones. SIRs. In Tinkerton, 
the Iron Leaves from Temple of Forces. Then from Twilight Masquerade, I have the Heart Flame Mask Ogre Pond. And then I also have the, the Eerie. So, actually, I actually have quite a few more than I thought. Um, we are doing... What are we doing? Electric. So, what do we need for electric? Let's check here. Electric, electric. Just the jelly jam thing and spicy. So we go rice, jam, salty, and spicy. There we go. I love this method. Makes my life so much easier. Oh, yeah, let's put the bread on. There's a way to have a better cooling off in here without having the fan on that's extremely loud. Um, okay, so let's put lantern in here. Oh, the last hunt I had hidden off the screen was uh, Pichu, who's one after our lantern in the Pokedex. Okay, there we go. So we should now only be encountering Chinchou and, and Lantern, I'm hoping. Okay, I couldn't see who that was for a second. Fingers crossed. Oh, why are there so many horsey here still? Alright, let's focus on these guys. Didn't know Golok could spawn here. Okay, they seem to be spawning in quite a large amount at least. So maybe we can do this, have a quick scan. And I'm thinking it should be bright enough that we should notice it. And then whilst we come over here, obviously we can therefore check the chin chow. We may end up seeing something and then it disappearing because we've flown over it, but that's just how the game goes. You just got to be patient doing these, that's the name of the game. Okay. So we're looking for tennis ball fish. Got it. I wish I could tell what these shinies look like. It's not that, but I wish I could tell. Yeah, so we can get Lantern in this outbreak and then Chin Chow next door when we swim over. Sounds like a plan. Okay, none of you are shiny. I just need to make sure I uh, get far enough away that it resets near all of this lot. Because I don't really want to um, re-encounter the same lantern over and over. Okay, I've got to remember to keep behind me. So we're looking for tennis ball fish. I think it's definitely an underrated Pokemon. Don't hear enough about it, really. It's still weird that there are some non-electric types spawning. Maybe it's because it's slightly going onto land and the others can't spawn there. I guess that must be the reason, but it's a bit weird that that is how that occurs. You'd assume they'd be able to spawn the whole way through. What do we um? What did we actually get last week? We barely did any sandwiches in the end, right? So I did the Pikachu and Pichu. 
Oh yeah, we got these four in in one go, and then we got nothing in the in the, the next sandwich. Which I said we only did one because I was trying out I think multiple different outbreaks and other different things. We managed to get four in the first sandwich and then none in the second. So a bit of an up and down one. Don't mind too much. Just the focus today will be any more new shinies. So we're 630 in now. It's certainly still going up relatively quickly. Maybe not as much as it used to, but still relatively fast. I wonder how different it will be in, you know, in PLZ. Because obviously I'm excited for new Pokemon, new gameplay, all of that. But one thing I've also got to consider and think about is, you know, shiny hunting. And what it's going to be like. I really do hope it is like this game. Rather than Legends Arceus. Hey Buddha, how you doing? Um, but it's just going to be complete. Like, I have no idea. We've got nothing on it. Just got ads. Oh, you shouldn't have them at the start. That's weird. Hmm, I don't know about that one. I have I have pre-rolls turned off, so... Let me just double check. Yeah, I do have them turned off, so I'm surprised they they started, but Yeah, I do I do wonder what the shiny hunting I said I don't I hope it's not as easy as Arceus, just off the fact that like, yes the easiness is nice, whatever, but I sort of prefer this more realistic, you know, hunting as it were in this game. And also I hate having to constantly listen out like I'm when I'm in PL uh, PLA. I don't have to do that for PLZA. I just don't. Please, no. <laughs> Very annoying. Because then I can't watch anything at the same time. Because, of course, I'll be shiny hunting off stream, I imagine, when the new game comes out eventually. Fingers crossed it's good, though. I mean, does anyone got, like, any suspicions on when we're going to get news? I mean, I assumed we'd get something in September. But if we don't, I really don't know when we're going to get anything else. Because, obviously, they said um, next year. But they haven't really given any indication. It could be at the end of the year... It could be literally, you know, right at the start, which I highly doubt we would have heard more by now. But I know I'm, I, every time I suddenly remember that it exists and then I get really hyped and then I have to tell myself to try and forget. So then I, you know, I don't just keep thinking about it, you know, same with GTA 6. Like, I'm, it's going to be the same thing. You just hope it would be relatively soon. As, uh, on, on the front of just wanting to play new games, as long as it's, you know, but that's the whole point, though, is because we don't want this sort of. You know, frame rate. That's one of the main things to consider. Oh, come on. How long have we done so far? Oh, only 24 left. Okay. Only six minutes gone. I didn't quite realise. It's not been longer than that. So we're looking for tennis ball fish here. So this is meant to be the uh, the game we get a lot more shinies in to you know to even out our our lack of shinies and Dynamax adventures, especially considering the last two we've had in Dynamax adventures as well have both been um, both been duplicates ones we didn't need. So we are on a bit of a shortage. I think Cresselia was the last actual useful shiny, and obviously that was a bit of a while ago, and it was the legendary as well. So. Hopefully we can get some more today. So last year we managed to get we only did two sandwiches because of how many different outbreaks I tried out. But the first one we literally got four. We just kept going back to back, and then the second one we just got like nothing. It's absolutely rubbish. So come on, lantern. I've sort of dropped off in terms of shiny hunting outside of stream. I used to do it a lot more. As I said, I did do it yesterday. Uh, just from watching Pokemon Horizons, it made me want to play a bit of Pokemon. Um, but considering all the, the shiny, the achievement hunting I do, and other thing, you know, other hobbies I have, plus work and things like that. And considering I do this every week, like guaranteed, 
I just don't tend to do it as much now outside of it, which obviously is going to slow my uh, slow my my rates. But I prefer doing it on stream. It's more fun. It's recorded. You know, we can see everything going on. So, especially the Dynamax Ventures. I I think I'll never go back to Dynamax Ventures outside of stream at this point. They're way too good to be doing on, to not be doing on stream. Do, 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 do. Oh no, we got a yawn out, that's not good. I said I'm not even tired, I just always yawn on Tuesday streams. I think my body's just accepted it as a habit now. It's a bit silly, but <laughs> is what it is. Okay, Lantern is not giving in just yet. So I think this is it is an underrated Pokemon for sure. I really like Lantern. Mind you, I base most of my Pokemon opinions off of design, shinies, um, and things like that, rather than any sort of battle effectiveness, because it's just never been as much of a priority for me. So I have no idea if Lantern's any good, but... Yeah, I mean, half of me thinks that they'll release it at the same time. But, like, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the reason I think they could do it is because it would be certainly a good way to get Switch 2 sales. I mean, it depends how they sell the game. I think it's highly unlikely that they release... Oh, wait, hold on. That's a shiny Chin Chow. Come on. Not even part of our outbreak. Okay, let's take that. We'll take that 100%. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I if I think they'll do it on both, on both consoles. I'll be very surprised if we don't have it, if we only have it on the newest one. So if they do, obviously that could be the way to do that. Um, if not, then I wouldn't be surprised they release at the same time, so that they can do a they can do a bundle, right? They could do a bundle, um, and that would be a good way to get people buy the second one. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it regardless. Like I'll be real, I'm gonna buy it. Um, but yeah, it, it might be a good way of them trying to sell it. All right, I, I don't actually know what Chincha has. Let's have a quick look. Chinchow in Gen 9. Hydro Pump. Okay, it does have takedown, so we're just going to try to put it to sleep, I think. I suppose they'll probably have to have a big title to go with Switch 2. And considering we've had Tears of the Kingdom, um, which was, you know, obviously Breath of the Wild was one of the biggest, you know, things on, on the Switch. Considering we've had that, I can't see anything else being bigger than PLZA. So I feel like it would probably release at the same time. Oh, God damn it. But we should get news on that in, in, in like, September as well, hopefully. So, got to wait till then, unfortunately. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, nice. We've caught our first shiny. It's not our main target, but I'm not complaining. This is sort of what the other reason we were here. This is the one with less odds as well, so... Oh, a less chance, I suppose. But there it is, our first shiny of the stream. We are now officially... We save this image. At 6.31, there we go. Very nice. And now we can just focus on flying in and out of the lantern. And hopefully getting that soon as well. How long do we have left? About 28 minutes, cool. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, obviously, I think Pokemon are really, like, taking feedback off of, you know, off of this game. Because I think the game was, as a whole, successful. And certainly sales are some of the best they've ever had. I'm sure they are... I'm sure, like, it's second, literally, to Red and Blue. I feel like that's pretty much it. Um, but the point is, they're very, very successful. And by far the biggest issue was, look, there's, you know proper you know lag issues freezing and i never really had too many glitches i've fallen through the map once but i've never had too many issues it's just usually being slow in the like water and blizzard or snow would rain whatever um so off the back of that and how many people like hated on the game and, and like spread hate about it, it's purely because of that i think that they'll they'll take their time but i mean we don't have do we have an official like sort of rough like period of the year that the switch 2 is going to release because i know 
all we've got is next year for PLZA, but they haven't said anything specific about the Switch 2 either, have they? Or maybe they have. Because so I think I, I think if it's a slightly later release, if it's not like right at the start of the year, because I, I don't know why it would be, um, I feel like it's unlikely that PLZA isn't a same time release. And then people get in bundles of it, which is what I imagine I'd do. I don't know. It's hard to obviously think when we've got no information. I mean, I don't really know what the usual window is for announcement to, like, trailers and actual talking about it to full-on release. Because, I mean, when did they announce it? It was at the last... It was, it was, what, like, a week or two before the last um, Direct? Because they said they specifically weren't going to talk about it at that Direct. And I think that would have been just purely because there were slight leaks, so they had to reveal it early. And then that's why there was nothing prepared for that direct. So you'd think this would be a couple months until we have a trailer or something to do with it, or the, or the new one. You imagine that would be the last, you know, big thing. But then how did... Oh, I suppose they probably wait till Pokemon Presents rather than a Nintendo Direct. Pokemon Presents, they show a bit more PLZA. Nintendo Direct, they show... The fight, you know, the... the Oh, one more thing, and then, and then it's the it's the Switch too. So I don't know it's it's very promising. It's, we've got a very good year upcoming. I think next year, really really exciting. Like what's going to be coming out and um, what's available. I and mean, even the towards the end of this year, like for me personally with with Xbox stuff, um, like the Indiana Jones game, I'm hoping is going to be out soon. We haven't we got told midsummer release. Obviously we're in midsummer, so I don't really know when that is. But Star Wars Outlaws is out at the end of the month. Uh, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops 6 uh, for free on Game Pass in October, which I'm really excited for because uh, I haven't played Black Ops in a while. Um, then Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows in Japan in November. That's going to be great. Uh, but the thing I'm by far most excited for uh, is Dragon Quest um, 3 2D HD, HD 2D remaster. Cannot wait for that. And that's unfortunately two days after Assassin's Creed Shadows. Um, but I'm st I'll am still be playing them all, you know, as much as I can, even with uni. Uh, which is the, the good thing about next year. I, f I finish uni next year. Um, and then I can go... I'll be going into a full-time job. So I'm, I'm excited to just be, you know, having work hours. And then I've got the rest of my time. I'm not having to do overtime stuff with uni. Which will be really nice. Um, just because we've got so many good things coming out. I can't wait. It's going to be so, so good. Yeah, BO6 Zombies, I think, will be fun. I mean, I haven't played... So, I haven't bought a COD game since Infinite Warfare, which was obviously a long time ago. Um, and that was because I was like, I'm not going to buy any. I waited a couple months, like, got a bit of FOMO, bought it, regretted it, hated it, haven't played it since. Because everyone got so sweaty. But considering it's being is on... Game Pass, I imagine I'll be playing it for a good while. Especially considering a lot of my mates are going to be playing it as well. Uh, just with Game Pass being an option, which is great. Uh, you know, due to the Activision, uh, Microsoft, you know, um, acquiring of them, which was great. Uh, but yeah, there's so many good games coming out. I said, as an achievement hunter, like, there's a lot of games I try and, and you know, are looking forward to. So, with a lot of big titles coming out, I cannot wait to play them all. Uh, I said I think the biggest one uh, issues is end gonna end up being um, Assassin's Creed because one it's gonna be a mix of two things but also as I said it's two days before Dragon Quest three and as much as I'm gonna enjoy Assassin's Creed and I will just try and play it as much as I can those few days as soon as Dragon Quest is out I will be playing that until I'm done like I will stream it um, I will just be playing that until until you know until until I'm, I'm done with it really. Um, at least, you know, main story, that sort of thing. I, I will not stop playing it because it is my favourite gaming franchise of all time. I mean, maybe not necessarily franchise, but it's certainly my two of my favourite games of all time. Um, probably my favourite two games of all time are both from the franchise. So, you know, it, it, it's hard, to, it's hard to, to put, you know, to keep going with Assassin's Creed. But point is, we've got a very eventful end of the year next year. Obviously, GTA 6 is going to be huge. Um... That's going to, you know, change a lot of things and make things certainly very interesting. Uh, so I sort of hope that comes out after uni because I don't really want that to come out whilst I'm still there. I will, I'd love for that to be a summer thing. So I really hope that, you know, we, we, we do get that 
Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, we've got a lot of good things coming up, so I'm very excited. A lot of things to play. It does remind me, actually, I haven't actually looked at the um, specific date for Dragon Quest. It's November 14th, I think. Oh, it's the king's birthday. Well, I won't be celebrating. It's a Thursday. Perfect. Let me just double check that on the main calendar. Because if it's a Thursday, I'd be streaming that day anyway. Probably. Maybe not with my schedule in towards uh, next year. It is a Thursday. Perfect. I imagine that week will be um, non-Pokemon week then. We'll do a bit of Assassin's Creed playthrough on Tuesday. Um... Oh, but then that means I have to wait. Oh, I don't know. I can do it as soon as I finish the, for the day. Um, and then Dragon Quest the rest of the week. Which will be fun. I'm looking very forward to that. What the hell is this music? Ultra Space Jungle Buzz Hole. Buzz Wall? You some. God, it's hot in here. I'm going to turn this fan on. Can someone let me know if they can hear this fan or not? I have no idea if it will get suppressed out or not. Because it makes a big difference for me, but I don't know if it adds to the mic. I'm hoping it doesn't, so please let me know. You don't think so? Okay, awesome. Because it's making a massive difference. Um, What is this? Oh, I see. Okay. I was just looking at the, what my thing was saying. Oh, that makes such a difference. Because it gets really hot in here. It's the one downside. I mean, I don't know what uh, my setup said. When I, once I'm back at uni, because I'm going to be actually back at uni, I have no idea how my stream is going to change. Because obviously it's my final year. I'm going to have a big important project to be focusing on. Uh, so a lot of my time is going to be going into working on, you know, working on my funny project and obviously, you know, doing lectures, things like that. So I imagine my s schedule will change. I will still try to do as much as I can um, and try to keep up a regular schedule. But naturally, university has to take priority. Um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll work that out when we come to it. Right now, I'm just trying to do what I can when I can, when I feel like it. Um, but as it's summer, just there's constant plans, like all the time. So I'm trying my best to do do what I can here and there. <laughs> okay, come on. We've got about just over ten minutes left to try get the lantern here. We have had a chin chow uh, in the outside of the the outbreak, so that's still a win. Um, but it would be better to get this, considering this is the boosted outbreak and what we have uh, done the outbreak for. I will still take the Chin Chow, of course, but Chin Chow. It would be nice to get this as well. Because if not, I will come back to it, considering it is an outbreak I've actually um, cleared. Rather than just a random area that I could come back to at another time. It also means if we don't get it, I can't reset for some more outbreaks, which I was thinking about doing. So if that if that happens, then we'll have to think of something else we can hunt. I mean, we finally did Tandem House a few weeks back, which was nice. Got that done. Um, a lot of them are just kind of weird ones. I mean, we still need Grafii. So I could go back to uh, the Tag Tree Thicket or the Lag Tree Thicket, as we like to call it. Um, because it's so laggy in there and attempt that again I mean that one's just been an endless one that one's probably the most amount of attempts I've ever had for something and 
not got anywhere. So that's an option. There'll be others as well, just I haven't thought about or considered yet. Oh, it was Drillba Spotlight Hour today. Forgot about that. I need to start making a list of when these things happen. Because I want to be taking Pokemon Go seriously in terms of uh, my 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 different Pokedexes I have in home. Um, and although a lot of them, it's obviously the main the main thing is just having them. If I can get them shiny, they're the ones that will 100% go into home. Um, so it would, it would certainly be cool to... So to get some more and yes spotlight hour isn't the best for shinies but it's certainly an opportunity and something i definitely need to, to write down and try for more because right now i pretty much just do it if i'm traveling somewhere and i can't and i don't have anything else to do or go fest because <laughs> go fest is so much fun i love go fest i mean it's adventure week at the moment i'm not going to be hatching eggs or doing anything specifically i mean i haven't even i've got eggs hatching at the moment that are miles away from hatching that aren't even the event week ones um it's a shame because Cranidos is in eggs, so we could effectively hunt and hatch shiny, shiny Cranidos. It's unlikely, of course, but uh, it's just a shame it's not available in the wild. So then I maybe would consider doing that sort of thing. But at least it gets some sort of recognition, I guess. It's about the one good thing about Rampardos is it is part of a group of thing Pokemon. You know, it's a fossil, so. They have some reasoning or some sort of, you know, idea of to actually being able to include them in something. Even if it's still not included in most things. At least it being a fossil gives it a better chance than rather than just a random Pokemon. I say that. So many other Pokemon get the spot, right? <laughs> just randomly. Rampardos is forgotten about. It's okay, Rampardos. You're the best. Come on, Lancer. How long we got? Okay, we've got seven and a half minutes. It's not looking great. Come on, tennis ball fish. You got your son, or your daughter, I think it was. Help me out here with something else. Let me turn this up. I'm turning up a lot for me. So I should know where this is from, but I just don't. Ice path. Okay, maybe not. I would kind of like to go back and play through a load of the old games. Uh, just because it's something that, you know, obviously I don't really do. Like, it's sort of just kind of the first time thing. I would quite like to just go back and do and play through them. Maybe with an added challenge or not. But at least it'll get me more familiar with some of the older stuff. And it'll be nice to, to actually, you know, do that again. Because all I do is shiny hunt now, really. Bar the, you know, the new bit of DLC every now and then. <sighs> comes the yawn again. Okay, we've got six minutes left on our first sandwich. We have said we've got the chin chow, but we're still looking for something else. That's that elusive lantern. I mean, a second chin chow, of course, would be, be a win. But we've got more chance of getting the lantern. And I would prefer to get the lantern. It just helps out. I keep thinking it's a Budu in the water. Like from front on and far away, you see like the yellow front, which looks like it's like face. And then just the yellow bit at the top, which is just like the, the top of the shape. Obviously it's not a Budu, but like you get you get what I'm saying, right? It, it, it feels like it looks a little bit like it. It's just that yellow face. It's actually a light. Like over on the left. And yeah, and the roundness of its body, it kind of just fits the shape as well. At least from that point of view. OK. 
Come on, Lantern. Oh, this is not good. This is taking its time. The main thing that's annoying about this is it means I'm going to have to do it again. Because <laughs> we've done the outbreak. I don't really want to waste an outbreak that we've done. So I'm going to have to come back for it. And of course we have used sandwich and saved because of the chin chow. <sighs> Which of course can be caught any time. Okay, we just got over four minutes left. Thought that was it for a second, but it's just the blend of the water. Come on, lantern. Gotta have seen more than enough of you now. I think we're in the unlucky stage. Set. How long? Three and a half minutes. Come on, lantern. If there's a time for you, it is now. Please. Oh man, this isn't looking good. I thought I saw it for a second. But the difference I saw was just a different Pokemon. It's not looking good, Brev. It is not looking good. Maybe it's just not as noticeable. Nah, it's gotta be. They look basically the same colour. Now I run into Elekid as well. Perfect. Oh, he still reminds me to put Gallo to the front. like this one's going to be a fail. It means we need to work out what we're going to do for the next one before we do come back to this. Because we will come back to it. And hopefully get really fast. It's not going to happen, is it? Less than a minute to go. Come on. Be a miracle. Nope. 
Okay, secret. Okay, I reckon that's probably it. Yeah, there we go. Just see if any more spawn. Or if there are any shinies around. It doesn't matter, we'll be saving regardless. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nothing here for, to, for the moment, I was about to say for today. Did get the chin chow though, which is still a little dub. Oh, it was it was small. I think was its thing. Yeah. All right. The question is, what do you hunt for now? No, it's not what it's do. Uh, that one. Nope. Same button. Idiot. Okay. What have we got here? I think I still need Rye Horn and Ride On. So those two options. Hold on, I'm going to stand up and stretch. I feel like this would be helpful for me. But, oh. My legs are very tired. I did a uh, racquetball this morning, so my legs are a bit um, restless, there's the word. My, my Cybermen t shirt. The moment, go to cybermenclothing.com. Sponsor me, please. Oh, there. Okay. So the good thing about being off stream is you can sit in a comfy chair, like that one behind me, that I would love to sit in, but it's way too low. Um, and you can move a lot, which you can't really do so much here. Um, okay, I do actually need another military. They're not fun to hunt them, are they? Uh, we still need the slack off line. Oh, Corn Face coming in an uh, event like next week or something. We still need another. I think we still need a Whimsicott, right? And they're actually like possible to find. Let me have a little look in my shiny decks. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I'm meant to be doing. Is uh. ticking these off as they come. So let's have a quick look. Whimsicott has not been caught, so that is good. Uh, Chin Chow. There we go. All right. I guess let's go. For, let's try to go for this, and we'll go for Fairy. I think. <laughs> Yeah, they're the same. Thought one was shiny for a second. Um, oh wait, there is a Milkery outbreak. They're so boring, and they are available like everywhere. So let me have a quick look if there's anything else elsewhere. I didn't. I feel like I did check. I must have just missed that one. Whoopers, Ducklet. It's all these bloody taxi gear. Oh yeah, Charcadet. Hmm. To be fair, you get Charcadet quite a lot. Let's go do some whimsicott. I don't know why this makes me tired so much. It just seems to always do it.
Oh, this is not the right marker. I hate this. How do I sometimes do the marker and sometimes not? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it can just be found anywhere here. I mean, look, there's cottony, so... Get going, I guess. So we'll save our bench, please. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. Fairy, we need. First of all, we need some rice. And then we need. Yogurt, vinegar, Uh, yeah, and then salty and spicy. Why does this stream always make me tired? I don't understand. It just seems to have some sort of effect on me. Who is the brightness? I don't know. Brightness heat. Then why doesn't I? Why don't I get it on other days? Oh, I don't know. What I need to do is go to bed earlier. That's the real solution. Holy moly! Josh Kerr didn't win gold! Oh no! And neither did Jakob Britson. Cole Hocker won it! Bloody hell! Oh wow, do oh, they have highlights of this? They probably don't, right? I suppose they've already done the race. Holy moly. Oh, they might actually, it might be up. Let me have a quick look, because that's crazy. Um. No, they don't, not yet. Oh, that's a shame it's the US as well. So neither Kerr or Inga Britson get it. I mean, Kerr beat Inga Britson, which is good, but... Cole Hock is the one who comes through. Da, 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 da. Damn. Alright, let's look for these then, I guess. Oh, it's a shame Josh Kerr didn't get it. He beat Igna Britson, but didn't beat Hocker. Well, I suppose it shuts them both up as the best. <laughs> okay, uh, we have Cottony here. Yep. Do we have Whimsy Cot anywhere? I'm sure they spawn up here. Obviously not as common, but I'm sure they still do. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we can get them up here. Uh, let me just change our hunt. So, cotton, of course, is going to be orange. Um, but whimsicott is almost like a brownie blue. Uh, where is it? Whimsicott, whimsicott, whimsicott. 
Those rooms have got. Don't have it on it. I guess I don't have it on here. I'm not entirely sure where it is. Oh, hello. Thank you. Where on earth is it? Okay. Um, I don't seem to have a whimsicott thingy. I'm usually I forget it's Gen Five, so at least I checked the right place. Um, let's get this up then. I'm sure. No, but I'm sure I did it in the past on stream. So I'm confused, but I anyway, got a brownie now. Hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah, that Viridian Forest is actually one of my favourite tracks. It's so good. Yeah, I don't have it. It's just before Petalil. But, no matter. We have it now. Oh, we only listen to Scarlet and Violet music. Oh, that's the coastal biome as well. Alright. So, we're looking for Whimsicott. What is under there? Oh, it's just the cottony. Uh, but we of course take cottony as well. Women's cot's ideal. Uh, but cottony will do. And it's enough of a standout, of course, as well, that I can just kind of run around, which is nice. Cool. Costco brownies, man. Unbelievable. Okay. See, so I saw a different colour then for the cotton. It's like, oh, but of course, women's cotton's naturally a different colour. Yeah, I mean, we'll be lucky here to get a women's cotton, but I shall try. Shame we didn't keep the uh, the same colours, actually. I really quite like its, uh, its colour scheme, cottonies. Shiny. Whimsicott's not so much. It's just a bit unknown. Feels a bit insensitive, if I'm honest. Oh, mill sorry. Maybe I should do the uh, outbreak then. Mm -hmm. Okay. To be fair, the hair of the whimsy quite isn't too obvious, but. I see them often enough that as soon as I know I won't see green and see blue instead, it should be fine. It's slightly annoying that the shade is different though. Because every time I see it now amongst a group of cottony, I keep thinking it's a shiny. It's one of those things that you do when you when you hunt for shinies so often. Even if you know what a Pokemon shiny is, when you see a group of like the same ones together quite repeatedly, and then just like a similar one or something else appears every now and then, it really throws you off. I mean, they definitely try to take the mick a bit in this game. You know, putting po random Pokemon in circles with others. They don't really make sense, but look like the shinies of some of them. I can't think of any of the top of my head. But I've definitely done that a few times. But in this scenario where it's not like that, it's just annoying. <laughs>
Hmm. Okay. I would have guessed about five minutes. So this is plenty of time. We're only looking for one here, which is, you know, makes us easier. We can take either in the scenario, the ultimate goal. Uh, as I said, I would prefer one's a cop, but we can take either. And it's easy to spot, so we just need to keep running around. I was going to say increasing our chances. In context of the whole situation, yes, because we've seen more Pokemon, of course. The more cottony I check out, the more I'm likely to find a shiny at some point. But it's not like, as I do it, my chances increase. They're still always the same. It's just the overall context of the situation. If you were to talk about it beforehand or, or after, I suppose. That wasn't a shiny thingy, was it? Okay, good. It was just the shadows throwing me off. Hmm. That felt so good. Come on, guys. Where are you? Wait, this is this is PLA. Oh. Come on, guys. We need shinies here. We're meant to be getting lots today. Every time I see a whimsical man, every single time I go. Brownie stuck in the back of my teeth. You see what I mean though? Like just that different shade is just it's very inviting. You keep thinking just oh. It's just like that neuron activation. Come on, let it be a whimsical. Or I mean you've got to get something of course, but if if something's going to shine, please let it be a Wimsicott. That would be so much cooler. Nope. Come on. 
Not coming our way at the minute. Not making this easy for us. How long is that left? 19 and a half minutes. That's okay. Still got plenty of time. Don't exactly know what fairy's next, but... Come on, Blue Whims a cop. I saw orange. It was literally just flowers on a tree, for God's sake. Just getting baited now. Hi, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, not great. Uh, we, we got kind of lucky at the start. We did a chin chow off trying to do a lantern outbreak, which I'll take. Uh, Cottony Whimsicott is not working for us, though, unfortunately. Try my best, but it's not going well. I've had Cottony before. Are oh, looking for so the Whimsicott today, preferably, but. I imagine it will be the, the uh, cottony that comes, which we'll still take, but got to try still. Sure. Oh, thank you for the follow, Ross J. 97. I don't know why that didn't show up initially on my screen. I guess it didn't show up on my separate one. Eevee or Vulpix? Oh, that's a good question. Now, is that being is that based on those guys only? Because... If you, if you include the fact that they evolve into their evolutions, that will change my answer, I imagine. Or at least affect it in a certain way. Am I, am, I, am I considering no context can be given? Oh, um... I think, I think... On its own, I would say... Eevee. I think it's just a bit cuter, um, and I'm more of a person who can, cares more about design rather than necessarily like battle prowess. And although Eevee's probably better, obviously eventually once it evolves, um, I think it's better than Volpix generally. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. No more. Okay, okay. I'll keep. I'll keep it there. Is it? Is it your? Is it your favorite Pokemon then? <laughs> oh. Fair enough. I mean, it's a very popular one, of course. I mean, it's a great, it's a great Pokemon to have as a favourite because you get so much service in in the fandom. You know, whether it be in the anime or in the games or in the TCG. Um, whereas for me, on the other hand, uh, although admittedly. Lugia is probably my joint favourite Pokemon. My other favourite Pokemon is Rampardos. And that's, yeah. Um, we got a bit more recognition in this game, which is good. I appreciate being able to, you know, hunt it in the wild as shiny, which is nice. But, like, no recognition in the TCG. Barely anything in the anime, of course, you know, because it is, you know, it's a Rampardos. <laughs> um, that's the good side of, you know, liking a more popular Pokemon. More than others, I suppose. 
You need VMU even more though. Are you, are you a big Gen 1 fan then? I, I'm not old enough to be um, around when Gen 1, you know, I was, I, was, I was more of a Gen 4 when I started. Gen 4 is my favourite anyway. I think it's got so many cool Pokemon in there. Um, so I definitely have some bias because of that, but you two can never... Yeah, I mean, for me, the the, the, the game that really, um, I think, affected my favourite Pokemon was, was Pokemon Ranger Shadows Valmia, uh, which I think is one of the greatest Pokemon games there ever been. It's so, so good. Um, and I remember when I was a kid, I always used to struggle against uh, Rampardos. Oh, I'm 21. Uh, but yeah, I always used to get struggle against Rampardos, like boss fight in that game. And I constantly lost, just over and over and over. And usually that would make you hate something. But I think I was like, oh, it's so strong. It's so cool. And that made it become my favourite Pokemon. So, unique situation. But it's a cool, you know, idea behind it, which is uh, something to add, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm 21. 22 this year. Final year of uni next year as I've done done a year in industry, so I've been able to stream a little bit more, but uh, we've dried up a little bit recently. Um, last year we, we, did a, we were doing a lot better, but I have been a bit more inconsistent. As I said, I had to prioritise my job and, and focus on things like that, so you know, I'm just not able to stream as much. Yeah, I mean, in, in my head, it's it's nothing really. 21, I feel, is like the last big one. But that's just how these things go, you know? Yeah, I mean, these 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 are the sort of ones I do on my own. So I tend to do... Like, obviously, I'm a big Pokemon fan. I do a lot of other stuff as well. I'm a big achievement hunter, you know, on Xbox. Um, but when it comes to streaming, I tend to do Scarlet Hunt. As I said, Shiny Hunting. Uh, I do a lot of Dynamax Ventures on Saturdays. Um... And a lot of people come along to play along those. Uh, but these ones have got a bit quieter as, you know, people are busy and, and doing whatever. Yeah, like 21, like, in my head. At least, I think I think my point of view is sort of from my parents' point of view. And that I've I've gone past 21, they can start buying me socks every birthday, you know? That's, that's, that's the way I view it anyway. How long have we got left? 30 minutes. Okay, this is still doable. Come on, Whimsicott, help me out. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I don't know, I've said it's, it's. I've got to appreciate, obviously, whilst I'm young. But the problem is, there's so many like good things coming and things I can't wait. I just want to speed up. And I know naturally that I'll regret that. But with so many good games coming out, finishing uni and being able to, you know, have a lot more free time to stream, you know, do some of my hobbies, you know, play sport, things like that. Like, I can't not just want to, like, get there and look forward to that. Especially when I've got to get past my final year of uni, which is going to be uh, going to be relatively long. <laughs> but I try, I try. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. The year in industry has probably not helped on that front, in that it's been a lot easier than uni ever has been. But that's how these things go. Hopefully, I'll be able to settle back in, enjoy the year, and uh, get on with my more regular stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's just too much to look forward to. I mean, I said on the game's perspective, there's so much coming out. I cannot wait for, you know, we've got the Indiana Jones game coming out soon. We've Star Wars Outlaws at the end of the month. Uh, Black Ops 6 is next, is in October. We've got Assassin's Creed Shadows in November. Two days later, Dragon Quest 3, which I cannot wait for. Absolutely, you know, dying to play that. Obviously, you've got PLZA next year in the Pokemon franchise, GTA 6. On that front, there's so much. There's so much to look forward to, and I'm really, really excited. I really hope GTA 6 doesn't come out whilst I'm still at uni, though, because then I'll have to put it off. Same with PLZA. If the Switch 2, PLZA, GTA 6 could all come out, like, July next summer, that will be perfect. <laughs> That's when I'll be finished, and I won't have to worry anymore. Is that a whimsicott? Yeah, it's just a normal one. God damn it. That's what we got to wait for, anyway. Come on. No, no, no. We've got to hope for July. <laughs> they said 2025, and I feel like if it was near the start... Like, I feel like they're saying that because they're like, oh, it will come out next year, 
but we can't promise anything. I think that's just giving them time to push it back. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out like late 2025, which I, I is annoying in terms of waiting front, but I've got so much to play, so much to do, and that I'm okay with it, especially considering I'm going to be at uni, and that's going to take up a lot of my time. I, I'm, I'm very okay with it coming out uh, in the summer. Plus, everyone will be around to play it then, you know. A lot of my friends will still be at uni, and who people I'd play it with, and as, as a result, I, I, I'd hope it just, you know, comes out then. Obviously, you know, other people who aren't in the same situation wish differently, but for me, that, that'll be ideal, really. Because, I mean, when, when uh, Legends of Arceus came out, I pretty much just played that, like, straight until I finished it. I, I stayed up till 4am the night of release. Uh, and then just played it for days on end. Like I, I, I think I skipped quite a few lectures just so I could play the game because I was like, these aren't that important. Legends Arceus is more important, so you know, I was just like, I can't, I can't miss out on these things. And knowing what GTA Six obviously is going to be, that's going to be hard to, to, you know, to miss out on. So, well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, I'm sort of glad Dragon Quest is coming out in November. It's a shame it's straight after Assassin's Creed, but at least at least it's not you know April or when I when I'll have to be revising because that's that would kill me, absolutely kill me that would. There's nothing nothing I wanted more. So I mean we had that reveal like five six years ago and it just seemed like they died down and then it appeared out of nowhere they announced both of them. In fact, the other two, one and two are coming out next year. So if they could come out you know later than Thingy as well, that'd be amazing. Gives me plenty of time to play all of these. Do some shiny hunting. Hopefully reach the 700 mark. That would be nice. We've made a lot of progress over the last year with the shinies. Um, 700 I'd love to be able to do by the end of the year. It's not going to happen. But that, that would be the ultimate goal, really. If you could add a typing to the game, what would it be? Oh, that's a really good question. I don't know, to be honest, because... I feel like we'd need so we need something to deal with steel. <laughs> steel and fairy are by far the most overpowered, I think, in terms of um, just how strong a Pokemon is. I think steel fairy are both really good types. So it'd probably be something to balance it more. There's nothing really that I specifically think of that would just be a cool thing to have. Because, you know, I feel like they've covered everything. There's nothing I can think of that would would be, you know, would be necessary. I mean, is, is there anything you've got in mind? Like, I don't know if there's anything specifically that you'd want. Thank you. Because for me, there's nothing that comes straight to mind. I mean, what, what would... I suppose I'm just trying to think of elements or something. The, like, just the general natural things you think of, like, all sort of powers that, like, magicians or people like Harry Potter, any sort of spells that he can do. There's some sort of type that covers everything like that. Any sort of magic you've ever seen in films. I feel like everything is covered. I can't personally think of anything more that could be, you know, be helpful. Types in the game and not in the game. Ah. Well, did you did you draw those then? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if they'll ever add another one. I feel like it's relatively balanced now. Psychic was so good for so long. Obviously, bringing in Steel and Dark type helped nerf it back in Gen 2. But it was still generally pretty overpowered. But Fairy's just become the new Psychic, really. So I do hope they at least release more Eeveelutions, though. You, you think they would. It's such a popular line. The problem is, I think, that a lot of people are worried they're going to mess it up. And I'm sure as an Eevee fan, you'd have to share the same concerns. That's the one thing with them adding new forms or anything like that. Uh, like, I think it certainly backfired with Enamorous. A lot of people hate Enamorous. I personally not against it. It's definitely my least favourite of the genies, but I don't hate it. Uh, and it was cool that, you know, everything in PLA for me was a surprise. So when it was revealed, I was in shock, and that was really cool. Um, but I know that the sort of damage, you know, a slightly bad game, like the lag in this game. This is a really popular game, but it got so much hate because of lag. And that makes such an impact on sales and... And just everyone's general perception of the whole thing. Sound, rubber, light, wind, cyber, cosmic, and nuclear. I mean, sound and rubber, I'm not sure how that would work. Light, light I can see is the most likely, I'd say, of those lot. Um, 
Wind, I just think they wouldn't put that in if they've got flying. Cyber, I mean, with how many, like, Pokemon, like, a tech sort of Pokemon under steel, I think it's, again, unlikely. Cosmic and Nuclear could maybe work, though. But I feel like they, they sound like they'd be way too overpowered. How have we not got this? I can't believe we haven't got this. Five minutes left. Oh, that'd be awesome to see. I mean, if, if you're if you'd like to join the Discord, um I'll put it here so you don't have to type it yourself or not type it, so avoid embarrassment. But if you'd want to join the Discord, uh you could post them in there. Uh and I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate them. Ooh, two whimsicott, and neither is shiny. Fantastic. Mum's just bought me a brownie, so <laughs> lovely. I mean, I'd love to see them, for sure. I really like a lot of fake mom. But a lot of them, I understand, would never go in the game. And some of them certainly don't fit the Pokemon vibe. But, um... Yeah, some of them are really nice. Uh, I'm sorry, she, she didn't have enough, unfortunately. I'll tell you what, I've seen quite a few... Uh, so, someone who I really enjoy watching... Um, is True Green 7. I mean, he's a fantastic artist in his own right. Makes some really cool videos around his stuff. I know he did a whole region with the lore and all the Pokemon and everything. Um, and including, like, new forms of Pokemon. I thought those were really cool. And he's done a lot of really great designs, I think. So, definitely uh, a big fan of his stuff. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't got this, you know. This was meant to be an easier one. Cottony sticks out like a sore thumb, so... I thought this would be a guaranteed shiny. But apparently not. Apparently not. So what's your, um... What's your main focus of Pokemon, then? Are you... Are you a shiny hunter at all? Do you, um... Do you just play the games? Uh, are you a big fan of the TCG? Like, what? Where's your Where's your main focus of the uh, of the game of the whole franchise? I suppose. If I can hear you DMing me. <laughs> Oh wow, some of those look amazing. Bloody hell. She's got the normal EV Lucians. I love the uh the blue and red ones. Like they sort of remind me of like Egyptian. I don't know if you're going that sort of vibe, like Tutankhamun's things. I love those. They're really gorgeous. Bottom left one is really cool as well. The Porygon like colour scheme like one as well. Yeah, those are awesome. You're a great artist. Very, very nice. Regular and shiny living decks at home. What completed or your main focus? Because I, so I, because I run, um, I try to, or I try to run five or technically six different decks now. Um, but the main five being what I call the master decks in just you know your general poker decks, but uh, Porygion. <laughs> Um, just, yeah, basically just the normal decks completed. Oh, wow. Um, does that include, does that include Go or not? Because I said, for me, my Master decks is kind of my main one, but I try to catch every Pokemon from their original region only. Um, I just haven't got around to doing that in a while. Obviously, Shiny decks is the main one I focus on, uh, but I don't allow anything from Go, or of course, anything that's not mine. Then I have a trade decks where I have to trade for every single Pokemon where I know what I'm receiving because I also have a wonder trade decks, which you can guess wonder traded only that one's going to take a while, but they're both. I mean, I think trades at about 70% and wonder trades at about 50. So it's decently done. It's just going to obviously massively slow down. Uh, and then I also have my Pogo decks, which is, you know, everything from Pokemon Go, you know, all of them have, you know, little rules and stuff, but I am actually making a YouTube video on it at the moment. Um, they're, they're, they'll all be 
Ow, ow, ad break. Okay, hold on, give me a second. I'll have a bite of this. Okay, there we go. Good timing, because I just finished my brownie. Um, but yeah, those are the five dexes. And as I said, um, I'm making a video on it at the moment. I'm so close to completing it. I've just had a few things to change. and I've been extremely busy recently, so I'm still working. Um, but I'm hoping to get that out this month, which would be really nice. Because um, my first proper YouTube video, I put loads of effort into it. Um, so... If you know, if you're still around in the Discord, I'm sure hopefully in a few weeks uh, I'll be putting a video out about that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it would just go cold, I think. I'm sorry, it would just go cold. I, I ate it thinking about you, it's fine. Don't worry. You, you ate the brownie in spirit, so it's fine. But yeah, oh, and then the sixth one, which I didn't really count, but... I've just sort of thought of it as that is that uh, I've really gotten into the TCG. I don't play it or anything, but I love collecting. Okay, yeah, our time has run out. Um, and I have I have binders back there, completely of of trying to get every single pack, every single Pokemon, um, at least one card of them, only from packs at the moment. When I get towards the end, I might buy a few. Uh, and then I also do all the relevant trainers, so like rivals, professors, player characters. Um, gym leaders, champion elite four, even team things like that, and then all the pokeballs as well. And I bought, I, bought, I tend to buy more of the trainers because they're a lot harder to get. But I've got some really, really cool cards, and I love those as well. Um, and then this binder is just uh, my binder of cards that. Oh, actually, it's my binder of all my trainers, but it's also just my spare cards that I have. That don't have any place in my collection by my, my main one a few SIRs older cards in there a few non rares as you can see some of the earlier pages uh, my train a lot where they're specific trainers uh, or relevant characters where's the main the bigger page this is the biggest one you know so we have the champion or actually he's a he's gym leader back then uh, you know rival more gym leaders professor you know things like that Basically, sort of like parts of the hobby that not many people tend to, you know, other to do as well. So that's just how it goes. Sure, I mean, you can send them through. I'll have a brief read whilst I'm hunting for this next thing. Uh, I don't have to, oh, I'm going to have to go back to Lantern, aren't I? I don't really want to, but I haven't got a choice. So I'm going to go back to Lantern. Let me put this back on. Oh yeah, we'll read about Shady on. Oh my god. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> that is dark. Um, okay. Oh, I don't really want to go back and do Lantern. <sighs> but I don't really have anything better to do, so we will go back and do it. Gonna get myself a drink as well. Because. I have all the chairs and rubbish in this room. We do have a little fridge in here that's just forgotten about. But it does have a few things in it. So. Sorry, gigantic teddy bear. Oops. Stay up there, please. Or just. Oops. There we go. So probably tidy this room a little bit. <laughs> he looks like me. I mean, I'm not mixed, so <laughs> there's at least some difference, I suppose. Okay, let me open this first. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, send them through. I'll have a read. So I'm only just looking at the screen every now and then for some slightly different coloured pixels. So 
<clears throat> oh, wait, I need to do the sandwich. I'll just go up here where it's a bit flatter. Okay, save our game. It's calling me down a little bit as well. So be sure to be sure to share some of your um, your art. Uh, why don't I make a new channel? I actually have an, a channel. Pokemon art. Uh, remember. Uh, there we go. Okay, we go. There's a there's a Pokemon art channel in the thing now. So if you'd like to show you off to some other people, there's a lot of people in there who definitely appreciate your stuff. All right, what was it for electric sandwich? Do forget these things. Uh, jam. So we do that. Jam, and then salty and spicy. There we go. Porygion, the cyber type Eevee. First born science experiment on his dying Eevee. It's practically his method. Ultimately killing that Eevee. Yikes. That's a cool one, man. I really like that. There's some really good designs. Do, do, do. Alright. Let's turn this back on because it's way too hot in here. Check the sandwich again. Is electric? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's try and get this lantern. No success on the whimsical, unfortunately. But hopefully, we can turn this around. I mean, we, we're probably bound to get another chin chow, no, my luck. Which is still good, of course. But as I said, I would much prefer a lantern. Because one thing I do have with my shiny decks is I do prefer to catch Pokemon in their correct form, their correct stage. Um, so I'd rather catch, uh, you know, a shiny Gardevoir than, you know, evolving shiny Rolts. I think it's, you know, cooler to find them as their stage as a shiny, so. Aurorion. The Borealis Pokemon. The light type. They're able to affect the atmosphere around them to create a beautiful Aurora Borealis at will. Organs in the shoulders and tail, producing a flowing stream of mysterious color changing light. What's oh, yeah, these are all so cool. I'd love to be a bit like at least you know creates the designs or whatever but i am honestly the worst artist ever i'm so bad um and of course you know you get better with practice or whatever but i i'm i'm not that interested <laughs> i have too many other hobbies and interests and things i like doing for me to get better at art or actually be any good at it anyway ah <sighs> Come on, Lantern, help me out here. Ooh, Seption. Is this a poison type one, I'm guessing? I like the addition of talking about the Mama Swine there. That's cool. Well, that's why you asked for the new typing, I see. Is that what you've been doing then? Asking people for new typings to try and create new evolutions. 
So I think light is the is the only one I can see sort of actually happening. Because everything else kind of just, I think, is implied by certain types. Or could be done under certain types, you know? Or, or it's just, like, too specific to include a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, I tried my best. I'm sorry. I couldn't, couldn't think of anything on the spot. I mean, you've got plenty already. You've got some very, very, very nice ones. I said everything. I think, I think my thing is I'm too logical in that I'd be like, oh, that wouldn't work because of this, you know. Because I didn't know it was necessarily a uh, more of a... I just realised, has my, has my uh, playlist changed? I think it has, you know. Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, yeah, so it's a one. Um, yeah, I just, I just like, oh, that wouldn't work, so, you know, can't say that, or this is included in this, I can't do that, you know. It's just me being pedantic, I guess. I mean, a, a suggestion I, of things I've seen with other people is maybe, like, redesigning a type, um, or how it would look taking a different approach so you could just do like another you know another fire type or another electric type or something or fairy type or whatever um but with a diff you know a different you know inspiration i mean it's, it's hard with eevee because they're very generic sort of inspiration like jolteon is just what you see as electricity it's not really based on anything specific um none of them are really but you know there are different ways to go about it for sure All right, yeah, I I'm interested to see what this next one is then. Out of the lot. Ooh. She's a poison numerous times may evolve into the nuclear type Radeon. Yeah, I mean, I, I reckon I could have come up with that name. That's, a that's just like the perfect name for it. Most of its body, leaving only the skulls and bones. Ooh. Nuclear type even just must stick around the shadows. It wouldn't have to keep the sludge health and not toxic, just training. How's the police strike and cornered radion? Can rapidly expand the mild toxic around the neck. Yeah, it's definitely a cool one. I think just the idea of a nuclear Pokemon is kind of, you know, overpowered anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I suppose it's just it's just options for, you know, more ideas. I suppose as well you're also just gonna compare everything you do to it, and that makes it more difficult. That's why I've seen I've seen a few people. Uh, I, saw, I saw this one person, um, I think on YouTube somewhere, um, who was designing Pokemon based off their names only. Um, so they weren't like described or anything, but they were at least given their, their general name and some sort of like that that tiny little influence. But they didn't know enough about the Pokemon, so they drew a Pokemon design around that name, which obviously therefore massively varied to the official one. But it was quite a cool way of doing it, so that all they had was the name to try and, you know, create a Pokemon. And, you know, it gave some interesting variations, but I suppose it'd be a lot more difficult for you when you know what the Pokemon are. Oh, come on, Lantern. I don't want to hunt you for this long. I really, really don't want to have done an outbreak specifically for you and then, and then not got the shiny. <laughs> okay, these are the two I'm interested in most. Celestion... Yeah, they, they look, it looks like Tutankhamun's ears. That's what it reminds me of. Like the, the ear hair thing. Solar Eclipse and the Lunar Eclipse. Oh, so they're male and female. Nice. Celestials are originated off a piece of meat to activate an Eevee den, causing them to mutate to these interstellar Pokemon. During the day, the eclipse appears during the night of eclipse. Once you get on this Pokemon, you give them a male moon, so they're female, sunstone at night. Gemini Eclipse. 
So are these, I'm guessing these are the solar types then. Yeah, I think, I think after a lot of thought, I may have come up with space type, but um, I feel like solar is basically the equivalent just with a better phrasing and word, I think. It's a lot more creative and better sounding than space. Cosmic. Oh, okay. So, was there, was there a solar type? Did I just make that up? I swear there was a solar type. There was no solar type. Oh, my God. Okay, I just made that up then. <laughs> That's what I meant, cosmic. But, yeah. No, those ones are really cool. They're definitely my favourite in terms... Like I said, for me, I just care about the design the most. Um... Yeah, it's because they're the same sort of vibes. Uh, I think it's a mix of nuclear and cosmic in my head, but... Yeah, I really like those ones. Okay, Compression. Compression? This is the rebel one. Bouncing around its tail effortlessly. Tail has some energy explodes as long as you... Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool one. I like that. So they're all very cool. I think I think the problem is with with um, a lot of like, if they ever were to introduce a new type, like realistically, they can never ever do three types, because that will just sort of break the entire concept of Pokemon. Like three types on one Pokemon, right? Um, and I feel like there's too many Pokemon that if they added a new type, that would probably come under that type. I feel like Light's about the only thing that um could maybe be added and not too many pokemon would have to be changed everything else i feel like some so you'd get need some other pokemon i mean to be fair stuff would need to be changed because when they added fairy they had to change a lot of previous because otherwise it's only the new ones and then there's just not enough so also try to do it so they're still simple yeah yeah yeah, yeah you don't want to over complicate it because when it becomes too specific and over the top, it's become, it can become a bit clunky and not as nice to, you know, enjoy. A lot of people make evolutions, but a lot going on with them. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's why I said, fake them on sometimes are, are gorgeous, which is why I really like true green stuff, because he, he bases a lot of things on real life. You know, he, he makes it just so it's like the nice, enjoyable concepts and spends a lot of time doing it. Whereas a lot of fake when I see are just like, it just feels like they've got an idea of an animal or an object and then combined it with some sort of idea related to one of the types and then just like stuck them together you know crazy young you found that Eevee evolved into wind evolution called Zephyrion exact cause of evolution unknown yeah I, lo I love the wind around its tail Yeah, that's really cool as well. I said, I think they're all really, really nice. Yeah, so wind, wind, I said, I think would be the, the one they just never would add because of the flying. Not even necessarily as much as, like, you could definitely, like, have a distinction. But there'd definitely be some Pokemon, a lot more Pokemon that would have to be changed. Oh, I have to skip the song. It will mute the, it will mute the VOD. <laughs> Let's just go to the start. Um, but then also, um, what's it called? I feel like it would just become too confusing within the community. Because a lot of types do have enough distinctions. Like, they're different enough for people to, like, just naturally understand what's going to be what. So. Do, 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 do. How have we not got this yet? I don't understand. I've got 20 minutes left on it. Oh, okay. Damn, you prepared for this. Hold on. Hiya, Luke William. How's it going? Oh, yeah. I mean, Tornadus would make the most sense. You see, I don't know. I don't think Luke... Luke they definitely wouldn't change Legendary Luke yet. I think I could see it on um, Tornadus. 
See, it's, it's the problem with you're replacing types rather than necessarily adding them, and that makes it more difficult. I don't understand how we haven't had this yet. This is the second time we're hunting for this. And we've got the uh, we've got the boosted odds as well. It's not going well for us. Good, I'm glad. So we're we're just doing general shiny hunts today. We've only had a chin chow so far. Uh, we've got a lantern boosted outbreak. Oh, there we go. I'm answering your question right now. Uh, the lantern boosted outbreak. We did get a chin chow, but no lantern. And then we've also tried for a whimsicott. Uh, but we didn't get a whimsicott or cottony, which is kind of a shame. Um, but I'm trying again for the lantern because I don't want to waste the outbreak. Um, but yeah, we're trying our best. I said 631 shinies we're at now, so over halfway there. Just you know, just got to get beyond the grind. You know, I said I do these on Tuesdays, Dynamax Adventures on Saturdays. That tends to be the uh, the layout of how we do things on here. And there we go. There's a chin chow. You know what? I'm happy. I'm okay with that. As much as we've got a boosted lantern outbreak, we have got us. We have got the lantern effectively. Uh, in in our in our in our chin chow there, so it's a win. I really wanted the lantern, but I'm taking the shiny chin chow. I'm happy with that. That's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair enough. But yeah, it's a, it's it's very it's very you know up for debate. I think it'd most likely be with um, Pokemon that single typings, right? Yeah, I mean jump off line would have to get it. Yeah, it's not too bad. I said, I'm happy with this here. It's just, I said, for me, with my shiny decks, I do prefer to get Pokemon as their correct stage. I think it's more exciting finding, like, l later evolutions in the wild as shiny. Especially considering we're doing an outbreak for Lantern, a.k.a. we've got more Lantern. And we've got better odds of finding a shiny Lantern. We've managed to get two shiny Jinjows, but that's how these things go. Uh, so usually it's mostly uh, Scarlet on Tuesdays doing these and uh, Sword and Shield on Saturdays doing Dynamax Adventures. Uh, I do also sometimes do a few other things on Thursdays, um, but they haven't been. I haven't been doing anything for a while on Thursdays because I've been so busy recently. Because um, I also do a lot of achievement hunting, um, so that naturally takes up a lot of my time outside. Um, and I usually do stuff like that on Thursdays. If not, I usually play a bit of Hitman. I love Hitman. Um, but there'll be loads of games coming out at the end of this year that I'll probably end up streaming as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Soul Rock, Lunatone, Minior, those all make sense. Yeah, I was going to say, like, um, Sigilyph would be a probably Wind. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them make sense. I said it's Clefable as well, Clefairy. It's just, it's just the issue of getting rid of its typing. It completely changes so many of the Pokemon, and and as much as like it's just with any more typings, I, I find it really hard for them to ever add another one, which is a shame. But yeah, they're 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 definitely cool, and I like the moves. I think obviously that the specific Sun and Moon ones would make the most sense, but I just, they just never change legendaries, would they? I mean, this must have taken a lot of time. There's a lot of thought going into these. I wouldn't have the effort for this sort of thing. But then other people don't have the effort for, you know, shiny hunting or achievement hunting like I do. So, you know, it's, it's everyone's got different hobbies, different interests, and, and that's what matters. I said a, a lot of the games I've been playing that I really like, some of the ways I've continued wanting to play them and finding new ways of doing it is because of achievement hunting. Um, I think finding stuff, um, you know, doing achievements makes some games really more enjoyable. Uh, let me just update all of these now, actually, because we've got the second shiny. Uh, I am going to continue going for this, I think, because I have got... Oh, do I continue going for it, actually? I don't wait. Let me have a quick look at what other electric uh, Pokemon we've got. So we'll put in Lantern there. And we'll update our um, text as well. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. But it'll be worth it in the end. It'll be something that you're passionate about. And, and so that's ultimately what matters here. Okay, there we go. We're up to 6.32. Let's just put Lantern into the decks. Cool. Why is Lantern so purple on this website? It looks nothing like that in the game. Okay. Um, let's have a little look then. If we go into Cerebi, and we can have a little look about what other... Um, so Indigo or Paldea decks, I guess. We can have a little look at what other the electric types are available. 
So Scarlet and Violet, and we're going to look at Electric types. We've got all the Pikachu line, we've got the Geodude line. We've got all of Voltor, Magneton, Magnemite. Lantern we've just done. Elekid plus or mine and we still... So a lot of the pe ones in the cave. Uh, I don't have to continue for this. It's very few, to be fair. Very few. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, in in general, both. <laughs> uh, Electros I do have. Um... Yeah, I do love Electros though. So I have my 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 Twitter X is bottom left if you're interested in that. But my Discord, uh, if you'd like to join, so we do have a small community in there, posting Dynamax adventure stuff, um, Chinese things like that is available there as well. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna continue for this. How long have we got? We got 15. Oh, I would just like this as a thing, but it seems very pointless considering I've got it. You know, we might get this at another time. I I'll go focus on the uh, on the cave lot. It's only around the corner anyway. We're going to be looking for plus or mine in here, of course. Whichever one's the more sticking out one. Plus or mine and it's mine and mine is a lot more obvious, so we'll put that one down as our target. Uh, I'm going to just ignore Joltic, I think, because I will never spot it, and I can't be bothered to constantly look at it. If it stands out, it stands out, um, but it's just going to take way too much time if I'm looking at those specifically as well. We'll focus on um, mining. A lot of the other ones in here we do have. No Tynamo, but again, annoying to look at. Uh, no Joltic, no Elekid. Basically all the ones that are hard to spot, apart from mining. Because even, you know, Plus is obviously pretty difficult considering it's just dark red. But you know that's that's just the point. I've got to do everything at some point. We did we did tandem mouse very recently. Uh, managed to get tandem mouse out the way, uh, which was great. Uh, there's a few others difficult ones we've done. Uh, Aracuda was the one I was dreading the absolute most out of everything in this entire game, and I, it's actually on my YouTube channel, uh, Blade Inferia. If you want to have a quick look on one of my shorts, I managed to run into it just completely, just out of the blue, complete luck. So. Uh, it should be. I just um, the person chatting above you just joined it, so you should be able to hop straight in. There'd be there'd be no reason as, as you not be able to. Let me click on the link, see if it works. I might be logged in to be fair. Yeah, no, it says it, it says it works fine for me. Maybe you have something on your account you can't join other links or something. Do 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 do. Yeah, we do have a lot in this cave. It's just the annoying ones left. But yeah, Aracuda said it's on the YouTube channel as a short. It's complete luck. I literally was just going around in a circle just following a path because where there were loads of items to pick up because I didn't know where else to go. And I literally just ran into a shiny Aracuda. So, so lucky. Um, well, I mean, if you can share yours, I can probably just send it to di directly, but... Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, it's so impossible to spot on here. Maybe I should go back to Lantern. Oh, you know what? This is depressing. I really want that evolved lantern. We're going back. <laughs> We're going back. It doesn't add to the, the total count, but I said I would much prefer it. And we've got to take advantage of the outbreak whilst it's still here, right? Well, you won't you won't be able to um you won't be able to join if you're doing it. Like, what's do you what's your what's your reasoning? Do you want to join the Discord? What's up? If you want to message me, it's probably best just to do it on Twitter. <laughs> Do, 
I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> I gotta try. I've gotta try. How long do we have left, actually? 11 minutes, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll just keep this, um... Yeah, we'll just keep going with here. I don't mind. So this will be the last one of today's stream anyway. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't add to the total counter, but the fact that I've done the outbreak, I kind of want to get used to it. I'm surprised we managed to get two Jin Chao. It's kind of annoying, considering there are way more Lantern, and we've got better odds of the Lantern, of course, being in the outbreak. So, Plus, I, I just, I'm just i happy to put off mine, and I'm too tired to look in that cave. <laughs> we've done a few things in there, but there's some that's still a bit of a pain. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yes! Come on, there it is. I knew it was worth it. We can go back to the cave now. There is our shiny lantern. Come on. Yes. That's what we were looking for. I knew it would come eventually. What a beauty. Way more purple it looks on the website. But... Come on. Okay, let me have a quick look at it just in case it has any moves like Chin Chow does. It has Hydro Pump. It also has takedown. So again, we will just hypnosis this. We'll try use our last 10 minutes for something. We can up all of these as well. We are now up to 6.33, which is awesome. Right, let's catch it. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. Shiny Lantern. Thank God. <laughs> At least something worked. At least something worked out. We will take it. With the nice hype music as well. Certainly not as bright as I hoped. And, and it's nowhere near as obvious as, as Chin Chow. But 100% we could still spot it. So we'll make our way over to Charge Stone Cave. Just because there's so many things I could get here. Um, we managed to do, when we did, who was it we actually, I can't remember who we tried for last time. Um, but when we finished it, we went for the Geodude and the Charge Bug as well. Oh, we could actually, yeah, let's go for Charge Bug. We can do that to try and finish off the Vicar Vault. Um, because I know that worked before. Oh, it's about here. And Charge Bug's much easier to see, so. I can't remember who we were originally doing. Oh, Pikachu and Pichu, of course, for the Outbreak event. My hunt was a bit more difficult. I put them in matching Pokeballs, all of them. What, as in, like, every single Pokemon? I mean, I try to. Like, in terms of, like, the same one. Uh, do you mean matching in terms of, like, the colours match the shiny? Or as in the same one across? Because I try, so, for my shinies, the extra rules I have on top of, um, you know, them being shiny and caught by myself, they are optional. I said they are explained in the video when eventually that comes out. Colours match the shiny, I say. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought about doing that, but I'd rather do this. So I tend to, so what I try to do um, is first of all, I try and catch everything in the correct stage. It used to be the priority was luxury balls, so that's another thing I do catch them. Try to catch everything in luxury ball. But with how many games don't have luxury balls in it, and the fact I do sort of actually care more about getting a you know, I'd rather if I were to get a you know, a Gardevoir in in a Hisuian ball, a shiny Gardevoir. Um, or a Rolts in a in a Luxury Ball that I evolved up, I'd much rather take the Gardevoir still. So my priority is in taking Pokemon for the decks. Goes correct stage, then Luxury Ball, and then even if I can really pick, be picky, um, the, the correct region. That's, that's the perfect shiny for me, um, but I don't really care about the region one. And Luxury Balls I'll just do if I have them. So I always do it in Dynamax Adventures, and obviously correct stage is, you know, I try my best for so but yeah that was that that was what i considered and I, there was a time i did it a, a few a few of them um like that but um yeah that was that was a long time ago it's a shame i said with, with rayquaza shiny um i think lugo did luxury ball but rayquaza i know i caught a dusk ball which is just the kind of annoying because luxury ball actually matches it that's the worst thing about it luxury ball matches shiny rayquaza so perfectly so maybe in the future <laughs> we do it again very, very, very long future when I'm really, you know, have nothing else to hunt, so. 
Uh, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll have a look after stream. Although, if you're just trying to sell art or something, like, I appreciate the offer, but I, I'm not interested. I'm not looking for anything like that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so last time we did the Pikachu and Pichu, and then about 15 minutes left after getting them both in the same sandwich. So then I just ran straight to Geodude, managed to get that one pretty quickly. And then, like, a last couple minutes, ran over to Charger Bug, and, and here it was. So we did pretty well last time. And I'm happy with how many. We've got three out of what? Three sandwiches? Like, yeah, that's still a win. Even if it's only two new, we take those. I don't really want to get Shinx up here. Nothing around. Yeah, I said I, I, I take pride in kind of having a lot of my stuff be quite different. Uh, I enjoy, I enjoy, you know, mixing up and not just doing what the internet says that people can do. Um, and that's where, you know, everyone can enjoy these games in their own way and have their own reasoning. And I love shiny hunting and I love doing it my own way. And I said, I do a lot of the different decks. My PC is an absolute savior for that. Um, doing home on there through blue stacks as well. It just makes my life so much easier, you know, doing the wonder trade and trade decks. Um, but I can't wait to put the video out for that just because you know even if it gets like 50 views whatever i don't care like i'm just excited to put it out because i put a lot of effort into it and hopefully it can mark the slow start of me putting out some regular stuff and and get familiar with it just right now i just don't have the time I, and i have to prioritize everything else you know so that's just how that goes but it'll be a fun video to put out and everyone who i've shown bits of it to so far you know i can do that later yeah so i'll, I'll have a look after the stream i've got to focus on this for now I said, yeah, everyone has their own, you know, interests, and some, you know, there are people who play Pokemon Go who don't care about Pokemon at all. Like they've never played the games, they don't know a lot of the Pokemon's names. They just like playing Pokemon Go. Like people have all their different interests and different reasons for 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 different things, and and that that's that's really really cool. And I really, you know, I love that side of things. Like my sister's never ever played any Pokemon game ever, uh, and she played Pokemon Go for years. She doesn't anymore, but she 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 loved it. And it's a complete, it's, you know, it's, it's nothing to do with it. It's just part of the franchise. Um, so, you know, I, I love that aspect of, of Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's kind of on and off. Like, definitely, like, the last year, it's been a lot more on. Um, I've really tried to pick it up again, doing Go Fest, you know, spending more time actually hunting, whatever. Um, especially because now I'm considering it as one of my main dexes, so... <laughs> Nah, she just she just got you know just a bit. She just got other interests and she wasn't going out as much. And she's just like you know what, I'm happy just to to not play it anymore. Plus, it is a pain. It's a pain to do some of the stuff, you know, especially with how like pay to win a lot of it's got, you know, with the increase of remote raid passes and um. I mean, I specifically for Go Fest, I specifically went into London to try and do as many raids as I could. And I saw people all over Twitter saying they used, did like 50 remote raids. I was like, 50? Like, that's, you know, hundreds and thousands of coins, which cost so much money. Like, unbelievable amounts of money. Thank you for the follow, Luke William. Um, so, you know, I'm glad I'm not doing that front, but yeah, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, some of it is a, is a grind. Which is why I said I do go fest and I try to do a few events here and there, but I mean just play it for fun. It's not gonna be, you know, the one I complete first. Although it probably won't be the last either. I imagine the Wonder Trade decks will be if I ever manage to complete that. Uh how that will actually get done, I don't know. Probably won't. Uh it's sort of goals that I think I that are attainable, but probably will never get finished. But I like just having that as a as a goal to achieve, you know. So that on top of the achievement hunting and, and you know, many different other interests. So I'm a massive sports person as well. I'm a massive video game nerd, but I really, really love playing, like, all different sport. Um, you know, I played rugby for, like, seven years. 
I played badminton all growing up. I regularly play squash, football, table tennis, all of that now. Loads of different things. So I think just having those different hobbies and different goals and things you want to achieve just makes everything so much more enjoyable. Like I said, I'm, I'm a big collection person, you know, whether it be the TCG in Pokemon or outside the franchise, you know, with uh, like I used to have quite a lot of pop figures or snow glows when I was younger and loads of different things. And just that whole thing of collecting as a whole, that has just given so much of my life purpose, uh, which is kind of crazy, really, that it's been a thing. But um, yeah, that's just, yeah, some of my favorite things. So gives me a lot more enjoyment out of doing things. Collecting. <laughs> Silly, really, but that's how these things go. All right, I don't care about Pikachu, like, at all. I can walk past it, and I wouldn't care if I did. We're focusing completely on Charger Bug here. Of course, Bug type would probably be better, but then we'd be getting Bombi as well, Cutie Fly, who, again, I do need, so maybe we do that uh, next time. I said I will be ending after this one. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So for now, I'm just trying to do my streams whenever I can, you know, get things going. Um, just whilst I'm working on the summer, work on my video, uh, finish working for my job, you know, look for uni. I've got a lot of stuff going on, so it's just trying to do what I can when I can. Um, and, you know, putting stuff towards the hobby, but also, you know, focusing a lot on, on real life, as it were, you know. You know, I appreciate a lot of, you know, the situation I'm in with, you know, how, how lucky I've been, with, you know, with, with university and, and my, my job and just everything that I'm doing. Um, so as I said, you know, I've got to put priority into that, you know. I would love, love, love to be able to do this all full time. Uh, but that's the sort of thing that, you know, one in a million get to do. And ultimately comes with a lot of grind, um, you know, from putting out good entertaining content and and doing whatever and that's something that as the way my life currently is I'll never be able to do just because I don't have the time and I have so much to prioritize um, so hopefully once I finish next like uni next year I'm hoping I'll be able to at least put a little bit more effort into putting some more stuff on YouTube and, and uploading a bit more regularly and at least build a smallish community so that I feel like when I do these sort of streams um, you know we have people coming along and and just enjoying themselves you know because that's ultimately the goal. Like as I said, we, we've dried up a little bit in recent times. Um, I think as I said, being in the summer, a lot of people are doing, you know, things, being busy and and especially Saturdays being my busier day considering it's Dynamax Adventures where people get to join in. Um, but it is, it is nice having the people around and having a community there and um, and having people drop by take part. Um, it certainly makes things a lot more interesting, so. All right, I think that is the end of the sandwich. So we don't need to. Oh no, we we do save. What are we what am I on about? We got the uh, we got the second Chin Chan the lantern. No charger bug to get our Vicar Vault, but who cares? We got some things, and I'll take that. Uh, almost another box of these. It's only like last three streams. I think we've got maybe four. We had all of these. These two I did offline yesterday. But um, no, I'm happy with those. Did we get any marks in any of them? I don't think we did. Nah, nothing, but that's okay. I'm still happy with the Shinies. They are both new additions. A line I've been meaning to do for a while. I still can't believe I've got one of the, Like this, this is the second Lee Vanny I've got. Completely just luck of running into it, by the way. Um, but yeah, it, it, this is the pro... Oh yeah, I forgot we got a second Eloma Molar on complete luck as well. Oh, there's so many. So many Shinies, so many to go. <laughs> so Dynamax Adventures take the time, but people like joining in those, and hopefully we get some more on Saturday as well. Get to open some more Pokemon cards. We did open some last week. Which is what some of these are behind me. Didn't do very well at all. But that's okay. Uh, we go again next time. We stream some more. Do other things. Um, <laughs> yeah, I saw they left. But uh, yeah, I said I think this is where I'm going to be leaving it for today. Uh, whether I oh, Do I stream on Thursday this week? I haven't streamed on Thursday in ages. And I really miss playing Hitman. Because I used to kind of do, like, I'd do either Dynamics Adventures or Scarlet Violet on Thursdays. But I thought, then I, I'd rather do equal of both. And then I just never got to play Hitman. So, I don't know. I'll work out what I'm doing. Maybe we'll play a different game. Just something to mix it up. If I have the time. 
um, just because I like doing it. And, you know, a few people drop by. It's just very, not pe people that aren't around on Thursdays, <laughs> especially considering a lot of my audience aren't from the UK. A lot of the people who turn up regularly, either American or Eastern European, uh, and are actually in different time zones, so they're still doing work or things like that, which doesn't help. Um, but, you know, that's how these things go. Uh, but, yeah, that'll be it for today, I think. US over here, yes, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you'll be, I mean, to be fair, you're probably getting close to the end of sort of the working day. Um, but, yeah, if, if this was, yeah, so if I finish just before that, so for me it'd be fine, but any time before, you know, before then, I would be around because I'm working, so, I, you know, it makes a difference. Um, but I can't stream really late, as I said, I have to get up early for work, so, and so with, with uni, it's going to completely depend on like, my schedule next year, completely depend on, um, effectively, my lectures, my sport, and what I have to prioritise, but I'd love to do it. Daily? No, I can't do daily. There's no way. I have too much stuff going on. Um, when I when I when I finish uni, my plan is to be doing it a bit, quite a bit, a bit more, um, because I'll have way less stuff. But at university, I do sport like almost every day. In fact, every single day I stream at uni. So I usually do three days a week. Um, I have sport as well. So um, naturally, it's quite difficult. Um, <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, the other things with daily streams is people aren't around every single day. And with the sort of people I'm with in the community, whatever, um, people can hop in every now and then. I mean, a few of the regulars weren't here today. We have usually three or four people who are there pretty much every stream. Uh, but none of them are here today. All busy, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it, it just depends. Um, but I have too much of a busy schedule, so... Next year, I'm going to be trying to do a bit more. Um, but for now, I kind of have to stick to the two or three days a week. Especially considering, you know, with the job and uni and stuff like that. But as I said, I do I do these every Tuesday. Um, and with because I'm currently not at uni, if I don't can't do it on these days, I just move it a day before or day after anyway. Uh, but I, I, do, I do at least stream two times a week at the moment. Uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays, doing Dynamax Adventures with a few more people then. Um, not as many people drop around for these now, but... That's okay, I just like doing it as a whole. And, it, you know, it's something I'll be doing anyway, so why not stream it to the world and have conversations with, you know, cool and interesting people like yourself. I said, it's, it's nice it's nice to meet new people and, and hear about their hobbies and, and things that they, you know, enjoy doing. So, um, yeah, as I said, it's nice nice to speak to you. I'll have earlier. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll drop by. I mean, I said it's a bit probably be a bit late for me, but uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll catch you some other time. Um... But yeah, so, so those those are my usual days. It tends to be, um, what's it called? It tends to be Tuesdays and Saturdays. Sometimes we open cards. Last week we opened we opened about a hundred pounds worth of cards last week, and I said I did really badly. But <laughs> we ignore that. It's it's it's, it's fun when I mean, you do them every now and then. But yeah, hopefully I get some more YouTube stuff out soon, and and we mix some things up. But yeah, for now I said I'm I'm gonna leave it here. We've gone quite a bit over already. Um, I need to go watch the highlights of the Olympics. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I appreciate you all dropping by. I appreciate it for the follows, everyone joining new and, and Key for dropping by. I appreciate you. Uh, hopefully I'll see you on Saturday and a few of the other people will be back doing some more Dynamax adventures. Uh, but for now, again, thank you everyone for dropping by and I will see you all soon. Goodbye. See you later. Bye-bye. 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 I said bye. <laughs>